Good afternoon. We begin business today with time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Miss Vanessa Smith, celebrant of the Humanist Society Scotland in Aberdeen. Good afternoon. It's lovely to be invited to be here with you by virtue of the work that I do as a humanist celebrant with the Humanist Society Scotland. We are living through times of great change the stuff of future history podcasts. And for most of us, change is a challenge. So I wanted to talk hope this afternoon, to spend the next few minutes sharing some thoughts with you about the things which bring us together in life, rather than those which may divide us. Death, I might as well jump in at the deep end. I spend a lot of time with the newly bereaved, and those at the very end of their lives. And it can be as tough as you imagine it to be. However, importantly, it can also be uplifting, engrossing, and funny, often really funny. The full range of emotions, the essence of what it is to be human. I've had some of the most wonderful, stimulating, thought-provoking conversations with those who are in their last few days or hours of life. And when you listen carefully, you hear so much hope. Love. I often say I'm humbled when young people decide to marry. There's very rarely anything or anyone compelling them to do so these days. Instead, they're making a decision and a commitment based on investment in a shared future. And if that doesn't give us all hope, then I don't know what does. As a side note, I'm so proud of the way this country acknowledges and affirms one love. There's plenty of room for us all. Our young people. I wanted to end on this because when I'm invited into schools to speak to pupils about humanism, I never fail to be impressed by how switched on and interesting they are. They face challenges just growing up that the vast majority of us in this room have never had to. And yet, they are open and eager and engaged. They also put you through your paces, quite rightly. There's so much hope in the next generation and we should be very proud of our young people. I'm excited to see how they're going to shape our future communities. So death, love, and the future inform and drive our efforts today. And all three evidence that hope should always be our inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> 